So we got Rochelle up here getting drunk because her speed dating was a failed. We got Amanda and Bree up here talking about she mud wrestled with um Kaylee. She want to know all the dirty details, but you should have had your little ass there. I mean, you could have had you a little bit of fun, but nah, you so far up in the ass, you don't know if you coming or going. You have fun up there. Oh, so Tiffany the one bringing it on this show with Lontel. Hey, it's going to come out regardless. Bree, you can start trying to defend your friend and what her little legal ass boyfriend, her baby daddy did. You're not going to cover it up. I'm not comfortable talking around when she's not around. Girl, you weren't going to talk about it in the first place. Let's be honest and let's be real. You and Emily like this. Y'all don't clear each other, st talk about stuff, and it's y'all clear it with each other. Come on, Bree. Don't play in my face now. Of all people, I love you, Bree. Now, don't you start playing in my face or I'm going to diss on your ass like I this on Emily. Kaylee, whatever, girl. Now all of a sudden you want to reconnect with your old friend because the other girls was mad at you. Hmm, I wonder why they was mad at you. But okay, carry on. You want to meet all these new friends and want us to meet all these new friends. Now what makes you think you want to meet your friends? I'm sorry, Kayla. I kind of like you somewhat, kind of don't like you, but I don't want to meet all your old friends from the past. We just want to see more of you. So leave your friends on the back of the scenes, would you? Kaylee, you can wait till you wait till you're blue in the face, pass out, hope somebody revive you, and still wait for their apology for Emily. Emily not going to apologize to you no time soon, sweetie. So the longer you wait for that, you have been died about two or three times on the floor for that happen. She finna milk this apology all the way to the end of this season. Then watch me by the end of the season. Y'all conveniently get along all of a sudden. And she accept your apology. Or better yet, wait to the reunion. Emily, I see you. That girl, sorry. She apologetic. Get over and accept this girl apology. Would you? Find you another storyline and stop hitching your star on the Kaylee and this apology that you want itself that she tried to give you. I said, never mind. Well, you must say that, but you know what you did. So I'm just going to leave it at that. You little nasty. Kaylee, you seriously feel to let your dad meet this man that you've been dating for a couple of weeks? Really? Oh, okay. Here you go making a fatal mistake. And as for this music career you so-called working on, what happened to makeup? You didn't gave up on your makeup now? And you decide, oh. you young, you still got a lot of time to decide what you going to do. How long till we work on something else except music and makeup? It's only a matter of time with you. I'm not surprised you didn't all of a sudden, and now you working on music. Okay, girl, okay. Now, Tiffany, I'm all for you finding your independence, climbing on the people's shelves, however. You draw the goddamn line when you started climbing on them people's refrigerators and all them fruits and vegetables you got your nasty-ass feet on. Now you drawing the line to your independence, and it's time to get your little ass down now. You showing your ass, you put for every item your dirty-ass foot touch. That's nasty. That ain't for you and your independence. However, that don't mean nobody want to, mm-mm. The bottom of your foot is the nastiest part of your shoe. Now think about it. Somebody got to eat them vegetables without your foot. Tiffany, you're pushing it. Tiffany, Tiffany, if you got to work this hard for a TV relationship, go find you another man. This bastard don't want to listen to a word you don't want to say. He don't want to make things work. He don't want to go to counseling. You say something, he say something else. Go find your another TV boyfriend for your story like how this one is unavailable and unattached and he don't and he do not wanna be there. Go find it. that Tiffany then pulled up Lon Taylor Rest record in the club. So now Emily, I guess she fit a feel some type of way about it and fit a freak the hell out about it. If you embarrassed that he got arrested, this on his ass. Don't be getting mad, getting mad at her because his arrest record got around the hall and she happened to show the up. What the hell you mad about her for? It ain't none of you getting arrested. So you feel to freak out about this mug shot. Let me guess, Emily. Really? You really need to find you a storyline. I mean, seriously. You need to find you a storyline. Cardi, you fit to show your ass over Lontel arrest record and Tiffany happened to find it and show the other girls. 
then there's something wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you supposed to be sitting your ass down somewhere staying out of the drama while you worrying about Tiffany showing Lantel mug shot to the other girls? That should be your concern, trying to have this baby for a man that don't want you, besides worrying about the daily drama and Bree come giving you your tea to seal. Don't you got better things to be worrying about, like trying to have this baby? Or you just completely forgot about that till he called and reminded you about it. You ought to stay stress-free, drama-free, stay away from the drama, but yet you fit to get in the drama over Lantel, a man that don't want you and don't want to have a baby by you, but yet you fit to get it. Emily, you fit to get into this drama, aren't you? See, this is why I can't fool around with you, and I won't fool around with you. Rush it, we. Who is we and who rushing it? Emily... I'm not fit to get into your embryo and your uterus. I'm sorry. I draw the line at that now. I'm all for you human form. I'm not getting in your uterus. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Calm your little daughter down somewhere. She already ain't known nothing but a cop. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Say you okay with her dating one of chance friends, however. But tell her ain't no more babies and ain't no marriage. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Get your little daughter in check because she hard-headed and full of calm still. Tiffany, give it up with Austin. Ready to lose his temper that fast over nothing. It's time for you to go find you another fan, another man. You look like a dirty foot anyways. You can go find better looking than him. I'm just saying. So you working for Daquan, hey, Minnie, you might bump it to chance. Kaylee, why do you set yourself up for disaster every damn time you turn around? So you working for him, meaning he working at the music studio, which means him and Chance friends, which means you going to bump into him. Gee, that's not going to all. Okay, Kaylee. Well, Daquan, I can say you actually talk like you actually love her. Her ex love her chance. You sure he? And you talking about making love to her, having babies, being married. You got a lot of hell to go through, fair to go through before you talking about marriage and or baby. You have fun with that. Brichelle, I appreciate you trying to bring Kaylee and Emily together. However, not in my goddamn house. No. Emily about that drama. Emily about that action. Emily ready to fight. You see how she spit that wine on her at that little um, restaurant? And you want that disgusting creature in your house spitting alcohol at home? Yeah, I think you would have been better off doing this in the park somewhere because Emily fit to fuck up your damn house. Oh, so now you want to be sitting on her. Oh, so now you want to play nice. You want to be civil since we all got mutual friends. Mm -hmm. Emily, you full of it and you full of it good. I ain't going to say full of shit, but you really are. Oh, so you ain't got an issue with Kaylee anymore. You got an issue with um Tiffany because she helping to share the mug shop. Remember, IBF. You got you trying to have a baby, no scrubs, but but yet you would have put yourself through scrubs, really. Emily, you full of shit, and I cannot and will not with you. First, you said you don't want no scrubs, you stand out the drama. Then you spit on Kaylee. Now all of a sudden you want to be cordial and nice with her because y'all got mutual friends. But now you got an issue with Tiffany, even though that was fucked up. Her sharing Lantel picture. But sooner or later, girl, everybody was going to see that picture on this show. Come on now, let's be honest and let's be real. Sooner or later, they were going to discuss and have a conversation about it. So why are you really mad about something that's out of your control? You're not married to him. You're not dating him. Yes, he the father of your kids. But out the far as your relationship go, why are you trying to fight his battles now? Okay, Emily, you, you just want to start some shit. Go ahead, girl. And now that I think about it, ever since the first episode in that Snapchat feature, you've been having an issue with Tiffany more than you had with Kaylee. Your only issue with Kaylee was that that she tried to compare y'all two situations together, which was not smart on her behalf. But you did have an issue with um Tiffany. Now that Kaylee out the way, you ready to... 
family. Don't you got a baby you can be worrying about for a man that don't want you? Again, you up here all the pressure up. That baby needs your attention, not no petty bullshit of our ex-boyfriend, baby daddy, mugshot picture. You can do better than this now, Emily. So basically, long, so basically, long story short, you mad cause she discussed a mugshot that anybody can access with a computer, phone, laptop, tablet, Compute, I mean, public library, office. You mad because she discussed a month? Emily, you too old for this, really, since you so concerned about me. And she didn't share media. Honey, there's people out there more than important that's going to get your ass and not her. So sooner or later, it would have been all over Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Emily, you just want to fight somebody. I said you're going to be the bitch this season. I said, I thought Michelle was going to be the bitch this season. Or Kaylee, you're taking the bitch role this season. You is on national TV. Of course, if something go down, we the first to know about it. Hello, because your ass on TV. So you really pressed and bothered about your damn... Baby daddy, the man that don't want you, but you want to have a baby with, mugshot was talked about or discussed around in the group, and she had, like she was concerned about you. So you pressed about this, and that she talked about it and shared it or retweeted it. Emily, is there, Emily, there's more to life than this. There is a lot more to life you can go find than this little petty bullshit. Emily, the bitch of the season. Did you really have to put your hands on that girl? Really? Now that same bullshit Michelle did to you, and I saw that you, you want the press out of at that brat, didn't want the girl around. Now what if the girls turn on, turn on you and don't want your tired ass around? Now you just hit her. You spit on Kaylee, not in the face. For what reason, Emily? Girl, I wish you all the luck in the world, and you really need to get your ass off this show and go get the help you so desperately need, because now you just showing your ass. Wait, 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 wait. So, Amanda, this girl that been this episode, she ghosting you all of a sudden? Did you give up the candies? I think you didn't gave up the goodies, and now she go, mm. You got to know when somebody just wants your goodies and move on to the next one. She played you, and now on national TV. Don't be on B. Kaylee. Give up the give up the goodies, and next thing you know, they're talking shit about you. That girl just got your goodies and ran to the next one. I hope you happy with yourself, Amanda. Emily, why wouldn't she show up? She dare to get a check just like you. You put her hands on you and get your ass fired. So why wouldn't she show up to a, a show that she getting paid for? I don't understand that. Time out, so she showed up. Why wouldn't she? Y'all, they're both for the same reason. Emily, grow up. Grow the fuck up, would you? Wait, 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 wait. Who bright idea was it to put the two mad people at each other, the bitch and uh, Tiffany together, and a sword fighting? I'm with you, Amanda. Lifetime sought these up to fight or play fight. Mm -hmm. Y'all trying to cause bloodshed on y'all show? That's not nice, Lifetime. Kaylee, shut up for I make change out of you. You and your relationship with the coin. Emily, you deserve that. They also deserve to call you a name. Cause you sitting out there basically bashing that girl, trying to tear that girl apart, talking about she, she can't think, she don't remember nothing, my brain working. Emily, you the bitch this season, aren't you? Yeah, I'm glad I... So, you think it's wrong for... Austin to defend, to defend Tiffany, why? Because Lontel not there to defend. Girl, Lontel don't even want to have a baby with you. So what makes you think he going to defend you? Emily, now you talking about her brain not working. Are you sure yours working? Because what you said contradicts your brain working. If he don't want to have a baby with you in a relationship with you, but you think of the man disrespects you, you think he actually going to pipe in and check that man for you? I don't know what part of the rainforest your brain in your head at, but okay. 
They go to best friend piping in. Bria, I know you couldn't keep yourself quiet. I know you had the pipe in. I mean, I'm piping in. Now everybody bandwagon and picking sides, basically. Next episode, Emily gonna be trying crying and whining that none of the girls don't like her. Mm -hmm. I see the bullshit before my eyes. Don't think we stupid lifetime. Next, Emily gonna be playing victim that none of the girls don't like her. She gonna be doing the Kaylee, the first two episodes. I'm victim now. Go ahead and fuck up your little friendships now. I don't wanna hear you crying wolf and backpedaling. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna see it. So, long story short, in the episode end with Emily hitting her three, four more times. What else is new? Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.